Hey guys, welcome back to Devil May Cry 5, and today we're doing Mission 16. And of course we're going to be joining back up with Dante, so because, you know, he's the best character in this game. So V's mission, so V's level's done, Nero's basically done. That's, uh, so now it's just going to be Dante from here on out. No hard feelings, guys, but this is my gig. Trust me, Nero. This one's gonna be a little too much for you. Alright, so I say we're good to go. Blow mode or kick mode. Calavia may leave you wide open, but there's no better way to stagger enemies. Alright. Before we get a move on, we're gonna fully charge up our Sin Devil Trigger Gauge, and there we go. Alright. This is the real deal. Full speed ahead. Okay, so we're just going to ascend down here, or you could just drop all the way down if you want, but I just want to collect these orbs. Oh, you know what? I'll equip this so you, I can actually show off the meteor attack against some proper enemies. Alright. Mm. There we go. You have to be careful when you're uh, getting attacked. You have to be careful when you have that equipped, though, because uh, as long as you have Dr. Force equipped, you'll actually start losing green orbs whenever you get attacked. Oh, yeah, and also just showed off uh, how you can do Frog Shredder uh, with uh, Dinosaur Dante. Summon swords to shoot forward automatically. Oh, careful! Some of these platforms are, a little, are still unstable, so. Sin Devil Trigger. And that's how you get an S rank real quick. Yeah, so while, yeah, so enemies can't be killed with that attack until Dante does the, deals the uh, final blow. Come on. Ah. Wait, I think there's one other demon in here to, to deal with. Oh, no, I guess not. Alright, so before we go any further, there we go. Then I'll just devil trigger. So I think if you come over here, uh, you get like the little fragment.
No, let me kill you. Oh, damn it. There was like a green orb back up, uh, back up there. Oh. Too late for me to grab it now. So far, I'm just blowing through all these enemies like no problem. <laughs> anyway, just charge this up. Almost to the end. Oh, green orb, green orb, green orb. Gotta grab that. Thank you. Thank you, King Cerberus. I should really, uh, actually use that. But, uh, no, I'll just save it for its, uh, actual- for, uh, next couple- the, uh, next mission, when I'm actually supposed to have it in the story. Hey, look, there's two of me. Try that at home, kids, he says. Well, anyway, enough of that. Time to get going. And of course, after one after one fight, we can go jump straight into another war. Nope, getting rid of you. Damn it. Damn it. I shouldn't be relying on uh Sentinel so much for these for, for these missions. Uh, no, it just feels really cheap that I keep doing that, but eh, I'm probably just going to keep doing it anyway. Just charge it up a little more. Okay. God, I am not looking forward to the next boss. I, I just remembered how much trouble he gave me. Oh well, 
Better get to it. Yeah, I just remembered how much trouble he gave me on uh, Dante Must Die mode. It took forever to just kill him. And of course, I had to use like Sin Devil Trigger the entire time to actually do decent damage to the bloody thing. Okay, so Divinity Statue if you need it. Because, which I don't. So, time to jump jump into our next boss fight. King Cerberus. Oh, easy there, fella. Hey, I remember stinky little pooch just like you. This is a clear throwback to Cerberus from uh, Devil May Cry 3. Remember how much of a pain in the ass he was? Looks like your master's got you on a pretty short leash. Come on, little puppy. I'll take you out for a walk. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you have fought far in the past. And I am king of the Cerberus tribe. They are weak, but we will feast on your flesh and gnaw on your bones. <laughs> Dante's just sort of was just sort of shrugging there, it's just like yeah, I've heard this before. So you're the strongest in the litter. Looks like we're gonna need a bigger leash. Come. Hmm. Okay, so King Cerberus, his old gimmick is that he really likes is that he has three elements. He has fire, ice, and Luckily, he only uses uh, one of each at a time. So he'll always start off using fire, then he'll switch to lightning and then ice. Oh shit. I was trying to use uh, Dante's uh, super, uh, super attack here. No. Okay. Oh, that's not the attack I wanted to use. Oh, shit! Okay, there we go. There's the actual attack I wanted to use. This fight's a real shocker. You only have four K there, pup? Mmm, Meteor. Oh, that's nice. Things are getting a little toasty. Oh, he's playing. He's switching to fire already. Now one of the things that uh, this boss fight does is not only does he like does this basically pull back to Cerberus from Cry, he also references Burial and Gale. I mean Bale from uh, Devil May Cry 4. When using with the uh, fire and ice heads. But yeah, this guy has, just has a ton of health on Dante Must Die, which is why he was such a pain to take care of. Let's just get rid of those. Okay, so... Let's see if he actually stays in ice on this time. Because you know how I did the, uh... You know... Oh, there we go. The meteor attack. Yeah, he's able to uh, rain like uh, icicles from the ceiling. You have a 
shout out any puppies, have you? Uh, you have to be careful when, uh, not to get hit by that attack because it will combo you to death. Because, uh, I actually basically almost had that happen to me. Like, seriously, uh... Yeah, I was like, uh, I ended up getting hit a bunch by that attack. Like, it took me from full health to, like, almost dead on Dante was dying. But anyway, that fight's over with. And now we get our final our final um, devil arm. Yeah, needed a repl needed some replacement nunchucks. Too easy. Guess I'm the first one here. I like that. <laughs> oh, bye, Dante. Okay, so that boss fight was something. Wait. Ugh, doggy troll. Wait, bonus red orbs and extra bonus? Okay. Anyway, I think that's it for now, so thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.